All right there. So today we're going to be doing a Google Earth assignment. You're going to find it in your Google Classroom for STEM. If you don't have that code, I'll put it up here. Write that down. If you do have it, that's great. You can pause this video. Now, in today's assignment, we are going to be exploring Google Earth and working on the accompanying project. There are different tasks for you to explore, and each one has a little bit of a different question for you to do. Sometimes measuring, sometimes just exploring, sometimes taking a picture. So to do this successfully, let's just go through and make sure you know how to use Google Classroom, Google Earth, sorry. So on Google Earth, once you log in, you're gonna find yourself just plopped somewhere in the world. And you can see that I'm navigating through all this and that has a little bit of some tips and tricks. So if you haven't, uh, you should get a mouse. It'll help you navigate Google Earth. It'll just be much better experience with a mouse as opposed to the trackpad on the Chromebook. Uh, on the mouse, you're going to be able to scroll wheel to zoom in and out. And you're also going to be able to right click. When you right click and then drag your mouse down or up, if you see that, then that also zooms you in and out. Of course, when you left click, it's going to move you around like this. So sometimes you actually want to not just move like this, you want to change your perspective. Now you can do that by combining clicks with other keys. So the first thing you can do is you can do a hold shift and left click. When you do that, it's going to be able to tilt your perspective. It'll also be able to rotate your perspective. That's my favorite way is the shift and left click. Uh, you can also control and left click, but I find shift and left click together are much more effective in terms of getting you to be able to see what you want. You can also do a mouse third click, which is on the toggle, like on your roller, on your scroll wheel. When you click the top of your scroll wheel, it's a scroll wheel click. Most mice have that ability, and that'll do the same thing as a shift click. So, zoom in, right click, or scroll wheel, and shift click. Those are your two main navigation tools. Once you're here and you're all, all over the place and you zoom and you zoom out, all of a sudden the world's perspective is weird. And you're like, what continent is this? It's some cra and of course it's North America, but it's hard to see when we always look at a map like this. So now if you look down here, there is a reset north. And that kind of helps us maintain this north version of the world that we recognize. And when it's all weird, you're, it's hard to orient yourself. So having it set to north is kind of nice. Now, the last thing that you're going to need to do and know how to do is you're going to need to do a measurement. I'm going to ask a few things. So if we sort of start here and then we zoom all the way out somewhere else, like all the way to Madrid, let's say. So that is, is helping 10 million uh, measurement I've put. And I mean, you can see it's on IXL, it first seems like a straight line, but really it's like an ellipse over there. And, and when awards, you can see that it is 6,000 kilometers. So we might be asking you to use that, or we might even say something like making. measure Plus, with IXL's a shape, app, your child can learn anywhere, and anytime. then you can look at area so and perimeter today, and other things. So those will be two other things I'm going to ask you to, to use. I'm watching ads instead of listening to music here. So let's go to our assignment. 
if you notice, there's an assignment here, and this assignment has a whole bunch of things that I want you to explore. Um, and this is a great place to start, but you are not limited to these things. Feel free to explore other things that capture your attention and try and learn about our planet. That's it. Have a good class. Let me know how it went next time I see you.